What's up guys? It's Ivan here at Ivan Tampi Customs. Um, we got this C7 Corvette over here from a customer up north. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff to it, you know. Basically, a lot of our carbon fiber enhancement product, you know. Uh, we're doing stuff in the back, the sides, and the front. But in this particular <clears throat> segment, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna be installing our carbon fiber front splitter, winglets, and our newly awaited design, which is called the 101 Canards. Why is it 101 Canards? Because I took the concept, the design concept from the uh, Koenigsegg 1 to 1. So that's why we call it 101. Anyways, uh, stick by because I'm going to show you how we install it. So once you purchase the product, you can do it yourself. Okay, so there you go. What we need to do is we need to put this car on the jack stand. So I'm going to jack it up and put the jack stands in it. Okay, so we got to take off the front bumper. Okay. Uh, all right, we're back. So now we got it jacked up and I already put jack stands. All I have to do is take off the jack and start disassembling. We need to take off basically the whole front bumper. So the first step is we need to take off the wheels, okay? So now we got the wheels off. Basically, all you need to do, okay, is open up the liner. There's a few torque screws over here because uh, you need this thing basically open up to disassemble it. So, you know, take off all those torque screws over here and then all the seven millimeter bolts in the bottom, okay? take them off all the seven millimeter bolts and then there's about three seven millimeter bolts that's holding the grill from the bottom okay so that you you'll see it it's gonna be you know once you go down there you're gonna see the access point is you know just about two, i think three uh seven millimeter bolts okay once you get those off okay uh this there's, there's basically uh, four torque screws over here in the top. I don't know what size it is, but you'll see. And uh, two snap on um, that thing, you know, just snaps on. Okay, so that's two and four. Now, once you get all of those off, it's basically time to take it off. And I'll show you in a minute, okay? So now, once you take off all the, the seven millimeter bolts over here, okay, you guys can see that, it's already off. You need to take this off, this whole uh, like plastic tray by taking off the 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four, to take off the whole tray. By you doing that, it allows you to take off the, I think there's three or four seven millimeter bolts that's attached to the grill. Okay, so we got those off. So you gotta slide it back. Now it's off. Okay, so you can see down here, there's one, two, Three, oh, actually, I said earlier three or four is actually five. Five seven millimeter bolts. 
okay? So you need an extension so that you can have access to it. So once you have those off, it's time to pop it off. So there again, a stand correct, make it, it's five, seven millimeter bolts total. Okay. Okay, so after you take off all the bolts underneath the bumper, all the seven millimeter bolts, and so as the 10 millimeter bolts by the, the tray, the last part to disassemble is you have to take these panels off right here, this left and the right, you snap off, okay? Put it aside and then this four torque screw i don't know what size is this i think it's a point i said t40 or 45 i'm gonna check it out in a second and then there's this two plastic snap on uh whatever you call it <laughs> all right so take all of those off okay okay so i said 45 earlier it's actually a t30 for those screws so just gonna use a T30. Stands for Torx number 30. Okay. So now we got all the bolts taken off the front bumper. It's time to uh, detach it from it. So first thing you want to do is go on the side. Okay. So you just have to pop it off like this. Is that easy or what? Now, before you do that, you gotta take off the, the side marker connector, okay? You gotta take that off. Okay, that's done. Same thing there. Okay. Now that you do the top, you got to go to this side and kind of do that. That's it. See, it's almost fell. Now just take it off. That's easy. Now we can work and put in the parts in here. Okay? All right, I'm back. We got the bumper off the car. The first thing we want to install is our 101 canards. You guys, uh, this is the first video that we're doing on how to install this. We don't actually have a template for it, okay? Look how beautiful that is, right? It's a two layer canards. And it's, if you guys check out the 101, a uh, one to one um, Koenigsegg, they have something similar. So I took that concept, I took inspiration from it and I designed it, okay? So, I just, it's very aerodynamic. So, check this out. This is how you install it. It's a two layer canard. We have a top and a bottom. The top one is the bigger one, and the bottom is the smaller one, okay? Uh, keep in mind, the top one, the way we install this, I just have clamps holding it right now before I start making the holes. On the very bottom of the canards, you wanna line it up on that crease right here. You guys can see that there's a crease over here you want to line the bottom of that to that crease okay and the distance is about three quarters of an inch from from the bottom of the canard to the to that crease It's three quarters of an inch now on the 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 top part okay so the bottom of the top canard is about three inches from the uh what do you call this the side markers, okay, is three inches down. That's where you want to do your landmark. Uh, there's a clamp holding it right now, but it's right there in that corner, okay. And then the distance from that to the to the uh, side marker is three quarters of an inch. Again, three quarters of an inch over here, three quarters of an inch over there, okay. So that's your setup setup mark. 
before you make the holes because there's three holes that you gotta drill uh, to make the mounting with the screws and nuts, okay? Now, the bottom part, keep in mind, if you look at the bumper, I don't know if you guys see in this video, but there's a line over here. There's a line on the bumper. So that line, we, we basically match the line of the bottom of the lower canard, okay? And then the distance from this side over here to the side marker is three quarters of an inch. So keep in mind that this is three quarters of an inch from the, uh, the bottom of the lower canard to the side marker. Same thing on the upper canard, okay? So the three quarters of an inch is actually the, the number that we use to distance from the, the side, um, the inner side and the outer side, okay? So this is how it's gonna look like when you, you know, install in the car. So now our next job is to make the holes and do the mounting. But it's just gonna be the same exact thing on the other side. We don't provide a template, but I'm telling you the distance so you guys can, uh, Sorry, we got a helicopter just one by the airport and we got helicopters flying over our head all day long. Anyways, so there you go. The canards, the one-on-one -on -one canards, okay? And if you, you know, ask me more, uh, if you have more questions, you can always contact us and I will have the customs on our phone number, okay? So, but, but that's how it's set up. It's on an angle, okay? and definitely helps bring the, the nose of the car when you're on a top speed, push it down. That's what the main purpose of a canard, okay? So, all right, we're gonna start to install okay, so it right now. Basically, we have it lined up and uh, we, we have to mark the holes. Sometimes if you don't have a, a, a long marker, you can um, mark drill it, but not going all the way, just kind of just Hit it with a with a drill so that you mark it, you know? Because you don't want to lose the the space. Okay. I moved it. Did it move? Yeah, it just dropped down. So now we got all the holes done. It's time to install. So all the one-on-one canards gonna come with um, with nuts and bolts, uh, a torque, stainless steel torque uh, nut, and, sorry, a bolt, and a serrated nut, all stainless steel, so you don't want it rusting, you know? So yeah, let's install it right now. It's pretty easy. And you can also do this installation, uh, having the bumper nut um, uh, still attached to the car. It's not that hard. So. so the whole thing recorded? Or just yeah. I'll show you how it looks like. Easy peasy. You know, I say, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Sometimes I like to make the bolt, uh, the hole a little bit bigger, but okay. All right, so you see how it looks like? All we have to do next is replicate the way we did it over here. Um, again, just to measure it, the bottom of this top canard is about three inches see that three inches okay and the distance is about three quarters of an inch same thing in the bottom 
three quarters of an inch. And over here, the same thing, three quarters of an inch. All right? So that's how you want to set it up. And then the groove, the, the bottom of this matches up the groove on the bumper. There you go. See it? Done, installed, looks good, sturdy. Okay. And then the other side, look at that, nice. All right, so next stop, next step, not stop, because <laughs> we're not stopping it. Next step is we're putting the, the splitter. It's, uh, uh, we're using, you're using the stage three carbon fiber splitter. It's the OEM fitting, okay, so yeah. Okay, so we're ready to put the splitter. Splitter comes like this, it's carbon fiber. It has some indentation, so I just drilled the hole. It's, you know, you, you'll see it. So you see the indentation, you just drill a hole for it. And the bottom part, you, we just drilled a hole on the indentation. And um, you just put the, the clip for seven millimeter bolts. So <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Um, the bumper already comes with holes. So you just gotta line it up. You just line it up with the holes. Line this more. Okay, that's the reason the lining up. That's the wrong hole. Okay, so now, you know, you can actually um, clip it. Make sure the holes are all lined up. Perfect. You want to make sure everything is lining up on the clip. So extra clips is always good. Okay, there you go. So it's lined up. So the next step is uh, riveting this part, maybe I like to do is about, I would say, three this side, three this side, and two this side. So a total of what? Uh, eight rivets. So I'm gonna drill holes spacing it out and then put a rivet. So the rivet basically will hold the splitter to the bumper. But as a, um, to make it more sturdy is, those holes that we made over here, they're for the, um, the seven millimeter bolts. So that splitter ain't going nowhere. You know, the only thing that's gonna get messed up is when you hit a big bump or a big something in the freeway, it'll definitely mess it up. But in, you know, anyways, once we install this, this thing is solid, it's good, all right? Basically, they're all lined up right now. All we need to do is make some rivet holes so we can put the rivets. So I'd like to do about three in this side, three in this side, and two in this side, spacing it out, you know? So you can see those two holes, you probably put a rivet over here in the middle, right there, and one over here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
too. And then there's about three over here, so I'd like to probably have And then two here, one here. One there. One there. And one here. Looking good. It's ready to install. Okay, got the stage three common fiber canards and the sick 101 canards by Aventampe Customs. Hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, time to install. <laughs> 